Hey, what's up, DIYers? Mike my Porsche with the Mike Porsche channel. Thank you for watching. We're talking out drive drive shafts and Mercruiser specifically. Hey, in the event that your gimbal bearing came out and it stuck to your shaft, welcome to the club. It happened to us too. We're going to talk about some common causes. Let's take a look. All right, DIYers outside at the engine. This is an Alpha 1 Gen 1 3.0 Mercruiser engine pulled off an 89 glass port. And as you can see right up there, the gimbal bearing unfortunately came out stuck to the shaft when we removed this outdrive engine from the boat. And before moving on, we have placed this outdrive on an awesome stand. As you can see, we definitely always recommend before you even remove an outdrive from a boat, make sure you have a stand to place it on. And in the event that you want information on this specific stand, it was only about $150 after tax and it is such a perfect fit. As you can see here, and it comes on caster wheels. And you've got the clearance underneath the engine there. Such a cool stand. Scrolling above is a link to a video where we assemble this stand prior to removing our outdrive from our boat. And with that said, back to the gimbal bearing that is seized or stuck to the shaft. And really, three things can cause this. Number one, the shaft itself has a burr on it and a burr basically is a piece of metal that could possibly be caused by scoring and has positioned in a way that the gimbal will not come off the shaft. So take a look at your shaft itself. This one doesn't look bad at all. And I've cleaned the spline area as well as this portion of the shaft. I have not cleaned the bearing itself. The second cause really could be rust. And as you can see, the outer race, that looks pretty good in good condition it looks well greased so you would assume being well greased how could it corrode or rust right however once you leave the outer race and go to the internal portion of the bearing you can see it starts to get really dark the grease as well as that internal portion there begins to resemble a very similar color as this rusted up yoke that houses the u-joints and greasable parts look at the rust up here so unfortunately, the bellows on this specific boat began allowing water into the U-joint area and ultimately cut the life of the U-joint in half. And you can see how rusted and corroded these portions are. In my opinion, if yours looks like these, replace them. Don't just take your outdrive off and replace your gimbal bearing and put it right back in in this condition. That is just not a good thing. And what we are going to do is we are going to basically remove the entire shaft, the U-joints, and all internal parts, including the bearings and gears inside this entire uppercase. And we'll make videos on doing the same for the prop shaft and internal gears down below in the lower unit. And for your convenience, what we will do is post those links down below in the comments section as well as the description section. So definitely check them out. You may find them helpful. And what a lot of people will tell you or ask you in the event that you call them or inquire questions about a gimbal bearing seized or stuck to the shaft as shown here is how long has your boat been sitting? In our case, unfortunately, it has been sitting with absolutely zero movement for seven years. And again, back to the grease, you would think it shouldn't rust or seize in place because it's properly greased. However, it happens DIYers. Corrosion and rust can get in there even with the grease and seize itself in place. And really, those are the three common causes. However, the fourth one really that I wanna throw in there, in the event that your engine is not aligned and you are out there at full speed and full throttle and this shaft is spinning inside the engine coupler at an incredibly high speed, you could actually run into bending or warping this shaft. And if you have a bend or warp not even visible to the naked eye. However, it's there. You will never get this gimbal bearing off. And with all that said, in our opinion, regardless of what caused that gimbal bearing to seize to the shaft and come out when we remove this outdrive engine from the boat is behind us. We are again, actually going to replace the shaft, the yoke, the U-joints, etc. So we don't really need to take this gimbal bearing off the shaft. We are going to remove this entire portion from the upper case. So basically once we remove this and a few additional parts, we are going to slide this whole thing off and throw it in the garbage however for your convenience we are going to show you how you can carefully remove this gimbal bearing without scoring scratching or harming that drive shaft because that is your number one goal and concern as you remove this bearing from the shaft do 
not harm that shaft in any way in the event that you plan on keeping it. So just be very careful. That's all I really wanted to cover in this video. What we are going to do is make a video showing the removal of that bearing and that link is scrolling above. Definitely check it out. From here, do us a favor, blow the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching and we hope to see you at the next video. An additional thing that can happen is when you remove this outdrive engine from your boat and do maybe a bellows change, a gimbal bearing change, and then you get that all done and you reinsert and secure your outdrive engine to the internal coupler in the lower portion of your engine. And then a few years down the road, you run into this. It's very possible, however unlikely, because you probably did your absolute best to align the engine prior to securing those rear bolts, but it is possible. Again, unlikely, but possible. We cannot rule it out. And with that said, maybe the engine alignment itself was not perfectly aligned. And over the years of running this engine with the engine out of alignment caused the bearing to stick to the shaft as you pulled it out because again everything was not ever so perfectly lined up and pulling a round or circle shaped bearing out of a round and circle shaped insert anytime you add or apply pressure to one side whether it's top or bottom or side to side it makes getting that part out of the insert a lot harder so again unlikely but we can't rule it out real quick DIYers I went ahead and cleaned up all the grease off the bearing and something that you could also run into in the event that this gimbal bearing was installed inside the engine and the grease hole was offset or not aligned with the grease fitting line on the internal portion of the engine. It's very possible that as you were greasing and your grease gun basically told you, hey, it's all greased and you can stop greasing, you may not actually have been greasing your gimbal bearing. Again, in the event that this grease hole is slightly offset or not perfectly aligned with the internal hole that feeds grease to this bearing, your bearing itself may not have gotten grease and that will fail a lot faster than a grease bearing and that could also cause a bearing to be seized to a shaft however from here time to remove it hopefully we'll see you at the next video